Hi. Hi everyone. I'm Rachel. I am a host mom for Au Pairs and I, with the help of my Au Pairs, make videos for host families and Au Pairs. Thank you for joining us today. Today is a bit of a special, um, special video. I have a special guest here with me. Say hello, Charlie. Hi. Hi. Um, Charlie's going to help answer some questions from a kid's perspective and stick around to the end of this video. We have a special announcement and an exciting um, giveaway, but that's at the very end. So you got to stick around. Now, Charlie, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. And do you remember how old you were when you got your first au pair? Three. Ooh, close. I think you were closer to 18 months old, but it probably uh. felt like you were three. <laughs> How many au pairs have you had so far? Five. And what are their names? Lady, Laura, Bruna, Paula, and Catalina. Good job. So Charlie, tell me what is a typical day like for you having an au pair? A little complicating because I have to wake up early, I have to do my tasks early, I have to eat breakfast early, I have to go to school early, which is super <laughs> tiring. Okay, so what I'm gathering is the au pair helps to get you up in the morning, helps you do your tasks, which for Charlie include getting dressed, brushing your teeth, making your bed, those kind of things. And then she helps you have your breakfast. And then what do you do after breakfast? If it's a school day, you go to school. But let's say it's not a school day. Let's say it's summertime or it's a break. What are some of the fun things that you do with your au pair during the day? Water balloons fight sometimes. Water balloon fights. <laughs> well, what are the places that she takes you or the, the activities that you do on a typical day? Where would you go? Park. You go to the parks a lot. Uh-huh. And where else do you go with your au pair? I go to... <laughs> sometimes I go to the Children's Museum. Sometimes the Children's Museum and sometimes the zoo, right? So typically after breakfast, you either go to school or you go to some special activity with the au pair. Do you like the au pair program? Yes! <laughs> It's a little loud. Um, you may have hurt people's eardrums, I don't know. So Charlie, what are the best parts about having an au pair? Like, like they're my sister. They're like having a big sister? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else, what, is, what else is the best part about having an au pair? Playing tag with them, doing yoga with them, gymnastics and stuff like that. <laughs> Doing, doing the, the, your favorite things with them. Okay, good. What's the worst part about having an au pair? What do you not like about having an au pair? Of them going away. When they go away, when they have to go to their home country and at the end of the program. And my second thing is when I get in trouble and we go and time out. <laughs> when you get in trouble, they put you in time out because yeah. they act like a mommy or a daddy, don't they, when they're on yeah. duty. They, they take care of you, but they also make sure that you're being a good, responsible human being and helping you learn how to be a good, responsible human being. I, I could see how that would be a bad thing. So if there was a au pair that was getting ready to come live with a new family, what would you tell them? I'd what tell advice them. would you give them? I'd give them, um, I would tell them that they do a good job. To do a good job. Any other advice that you tell them? I would tell them to, to um, um, tell the kids to learn their favorite dessert and play games and stuff like that. You would tell the au pairs to learn the kids' favorite desserts and how to play their favorite games? Yeah. Okay, that's good advice. All right. And what about if there was a little boy or little girl just like you that was getting ready to have an au pair? What would you tell them? To, that the au pair would teach you like, like to, you learn, that you would have to teach the au pair to learn the, the favorite game, your favorite dessert, your favorite food, food and stuff like that. 
part of like having a a au pair, the kids like have to work like really hard to keep them at their house. The kids have to work really hard? What do you mean by the kids have to work really hard? Like your children like have to work really hard like doing to, what? Like doing what the au pair says so they oh, stay at the house. I see. At the children house. need to be good listeners and treat the au pairs well so that they stay at their house. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is really good advice, Charlie. And that's right. We need to treat them just like they are the grown-up that's in charge of us and treat them with respect and be kind to them. That is really, really, really good information to have. <laughs> Well, Charlie and I wanted to take a moment and say thank you. We have exciting news that we have a hundred subscribers. Am I famous, Mommy? <laughs> well, maybe famous to a hundred people on Facebook. How about that? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Uh, and first of all, we just wanted to thank everyone. Thank you for the tremendously positive support that we've received since starting this channel. It is more than I could have anticipated. Um, I have received several messages now from host families and from potential au pair candidates and previous au pairs that have expressed how they really appreciate having a real host mom perspective that's honest and candid and truthful. And that's my goal is to give the perspective of a host mom with real information for au pairs and for host families to hopefully help improve the program and to make it a wonderful experience for everybody. Um, so in celebration of that, we've decided to do a little giveaway. Show them what we're doing, Charlie. We're going to give away Amazon gift cards. <laughs> I am a practical uh, and functional type person and I like practical things and so this seemed the most practical for uh, au pairs and host families and we also have a lot of male subscribers from host ads and for male au pairs so we thought this kind of was good for everybody. All right so the rules for this giveaway are you have to be 18 or older. 18 or older. Good job Charlie. You have to live in the U.S. In the United States. I'm sorry, au pairs that live overseas. Uh, it's a little complicated, and I don't even know if you have access to Amazon there, so we're just going to limit it to people in the United States. Uh, what else What else should we do? They should be subscribed to this channel. Mm -hmm. They have to be subscribed to this channel. They have to like this video. And we're asking that you please leave a comment below and we'll use a random comment picker. And I would like to have you all leave a comment about, because this is a, a very functional and practical channel, we wanna know what information is functional or practical to you that you would like to see in an upcoming video. So leave that in the comments below. And again, we'll use a random comment picker, but you do have to be subscribed. You have to like this channel. Um, also in your comment, please leave either your Instagram name or your email address so that I can contact you if you are the winner. And we'll leave this video up for about a week and we'll pick um, one week after this video. So Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you for spending some time with Charlie today. We know your time is valuable. If you are a potential host family and you do not have a referral code, I have some listed down in the comment section down below. Please consider using them. But if you have a friend or family member that is using the au pair program, please use theirs over mine. But I just ask that if you don't, don't let them go to waste. And we'll see you next time. Stay safe. And subscribe to our channel and keep watching and give it a thumbs up mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks everybody